All right, and uh, the Netflix um, series that is known as Jamaica, as Patrick Swayze put it, here we have a story that's too good to be true, and so it's called Fed Million Drug Dollar Drug Bust in Portland After Car Crash. So ganja with a street value of more than $5 million was seized by police in Buff Bay, Portland, yesterday, meaning Tuesday, uh, which came out on yesterday and Wednesday, for a motor car that was involved in a two-vehicle crash. The Jamaica Observer was told that police that police assigned to the Portland Division Operation Support Team were on patrol on Jerusalem Street in the town when or about 7.30 a.m. they were signaled by a cop to stop. The cop, the cop drew their attention to a crash above a gray Nissan AD wagon and a white, white Toyota Pro Box and told them they suspect there might be drugs in Nissan. Vehicle search, according to police, 26 large parcels contained ganja weighing approximately 1,300 pounds with an estimated street value of 5.2 million were found. All right, I wonder if this the suspect is is related to those two soldiers that that um that were haplessly caught or transporting the same type of drug. All right, the police said that the driver of Nissan, a 37 year old Jermaine Jones, a taxi operator who lives in Bellevue Housing Scheme in Southfield, St. Elizabeth, was arrested and was to be charged position dealing, transporting, taking steps to support ganja. I mean, nothing said about yet about who is transporting for me, like. Obviously, he was not working alone. Maybe someone, obviously, someone either paid him to transport all of that, or he was, or so on. So, whoever he was, his connect was, is still, I mean, still has yet to be named. But there you have it. So another story that basically shows that Jamaica is basically one big Hollywood, um, one big Hollywood island, Hollywood. Uh, stories that are so good to be true keep popping up in the news cycle every day. And this is why those are fun things about reading the news is that every day you hear these stories that that just sound so out of le out of field that you're just wondering if this is real or if they're just shooting these TV shows and movies where everybody in most people in Jamaica are are take, do, um, part, doing bit parts for um for the camera. I don't know, I mean like again Drug busts aren't um or a dime a dozen, but the way this was sound, like obviously like this this transporter obviously wasn't really good at his job if he managed to get uh, or you just unlucky if he has managed to while transporting a lot dangerous this type of amount of narcotics was got involved in this car crash that exposed him and got him sent to jail. Yeah, that was not his day, obviously. Uh it's just like the universe was basically working against him this week. All right, but but as I said, those that even though it's not as bad as like cocaine or the hard drugs, not a good look for this this hapless guy. And whoever it is that he is connected to, whoever he has hired him to do this, or who he was in partnership with to transport these drugs, um, they're not going to be happy about this either. So. This guy, this guy is not really in a good place because no, he has to deal with prison, but deal with fact that whoever he is connect, whoever is accomplice or accomplice or business partners or whatever, pretty much wants to see him underneath the jail cell instead of in it. So he has to deal with the fact that he is, he has a bullseye on his back should he ever get bail, which I doubt he will, but... As I say, like what Politics Watch always says, Jamaica is not a real place, and this story is going into la the story is too good to be true. So, it's for stay to Jamaica and the Caribbean, share my youth videos, real thoughts and miles, Miles Productions, of course, my main YouTube page, Miles Gustafaron. Good night.